Alrighty. Welcome. Hello. Let's uh let's just clear the chat here real quick. Forgot how I'm supposed to clear it. Window. Clear text. There we go. <coughs> hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Um Yeah. Alright, I need to post this up on to Facebook Extra Life Preview Okay That one is posted All right I just need to get this up. La la la. Alright. Ta da! Why do you feel a little sluggish? There we go. Continue. I captured this dude. That's what I did. I remember now. Oh, what? I could have sworn that I... That's a shame. I could have sworn I had done this already. Oh my god. Uh, oh my goodness. Spread out. This is Lord of Arrakis. No details yet. That's right, Biatch. Can I get in the boat? Yes! <laughs> Master Corbo, royal physician himself. You made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Alrighty, let's do it. This is where I last le left off. Alrighty. They set up the cell for so off in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. Mm -hmm. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. I guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. Mm -hmm. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my oh thanks, boy. Sir. You're welcome. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Why? Because it's dark. Oh, my. All right, where's that, Melly?
Nope, that's not gonna work. Ninja! Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. All right. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there, in the city. Hell yeah, I do! Wait, if she's asleep... There's hardly a need to work on That's really loud. Again. She knows it all. Even if she chooses... Mm -hmm. I don't really care much for that. That's really creepy. Bread! Why is there just like a loaf of bread sitting there? That doesn't make any sense. Let's go rest. Why not? Why not? Scary. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. <coughs> I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Is there trouble? Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. No problem. Now I'm gonna beat the shit out of someone. Foo, foo, foo. Oh, fail. Corvo tripped off the stairs. No one knows how Royal physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress. And the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the, city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, well, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry clay, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so far. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat was funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. Well, that's a shame. I don't feel like reading that at all. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Are you sure? A curious strategy. Of which I approve. Talk to Piero and buy a bribe. God, I don't have any money. What was I thinking? I don't even know how to escape. No. This is what I get for not playing this game forever. Tent. 
tab? Shift. B M N J K. J J. That's right. <laughs> oh man. All right. Let's see. I've got seven runes. Allow control of human targets for a short duration. Very powerful wind that can kill enemies by throwing them into walls. Do I want to bend time or have a swarm that I can devour people with? Okay, these ones are maxed. I like that. Screw it. I'm getting this. Can jump higher. Whoa! That is hella high, yo. Woo! Alrighty then. Let us make my way up. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a bit of a cold, so. That's why I've been all sniffly and coffee. Heh, <laughs> coffee. Yo, Piero, what's up? What are you doing? I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like... snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just... You know, looking through the lock. Oh, creepy. I realize, well, everything you're thinking, I already realize. I'm a natural philosopher, but that doesn't mean I'm not a gentleman. Or, I try to be one. Uh huh? Who's in here? Hottie! All right, Piero. I have business to attend to with you. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pindisian spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? Oh, 150? Man, he made it sound like it cost a fortune. What a nub. Alright, boot stealth. Yes, please. Boot stealth too. Yes, please. All right, reload. Sword crossing makes the sword more effective when locking blades and pushing and pushing against an enemy. Hmm. I don't know if I want that. Bolt capacity, grenade capacity. Kind of want the bolt capacity. Maybe I should double it. Double it. Double it. I'm just gonna start shooting people. Thanks, dude. Alrighty. Do 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 do. Hey, Natalie. Attention, Dunwall citizen. Be aware that the uh, evacuated areas are serious. Oh, it's on the other side of the wall. <laughs> by of I the knew that. Display your it's pride in, here. in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times. Indeed. Alright, Sakalov. Why did I climb up to my room when I could have just gone downstairs? Oh my gosh, it scared the crap out of me. Oh gosh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh 
hey, what's up? What do you want, Lord Pendleton? I'll leave it to you. Oh, okay. But if you get tired of questioning Sokolov, I'll let you know that his taste... I could use a drink. What are you thinking, Corporal? I don't know what I'm thinking. Not the swell without ear, but the fine spirit. What in the... Oh, cool. It's... It's lodged in the ground here, and I can't even... I can't retrieve it. Whatever. Whatever. I had a flask. I found a bottle of King Street for you. <coughs> King Street brandy? I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. What the? I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. I will miss that. Party. Looks like there's a party I'll be crashing. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corbin. Hell yeah! The Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so secure. <coughs> of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corbin? Booyakasha. Right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out. Hell yeah! We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. Cool. May the wind favor you. I really hope that's not the end of the game. Alrighty. I hear you're off to the boil's little bash tonight. Oh my god, he's I drinking have again. Any favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. I'm on vent. What in the what? Hang on a second. Uh, here. Watch this while I check something out. Extra Life Gamers are action figures. They've registered online. They've got friends and family to pledge. And they're gonna game for 24 hours straight. Now they're ready. To play solo. With friends. Online. Or with the whole family. It doesn't matter how they game, because the money will go to their local Children's Miracle Network hospital. Extra life. Play games. Heal kids. Yeah, how was that? That was pretty cool, right? Right? <laughs> Let's resume this game. Uh... Chaya! Hey, Emily, what's up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's this trick? Say what you will, the royal physician knows his wine. Oh, really? Have you ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Whoa. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink me? Of course, dozens. Oh yes, but that's not for young girls to hear about. Man, you I don't know her. Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it. I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. Alright, I'm out and out. Bye. Oh my. Oh my. The Boyle costume ball, huh? Yep. Well, that'll be fun. It but will. Not for everybody. You ready? Let's do it, Samuel. <laughs>